Hi guys, it's Tara Reed. You're watching Joe and Marie all day, all night. YouTube family. Let's go! How you doing guys? Hi, I'm Marie. I'm Joe. And this is episode number 22, we're still going, of What Didn't Make the Shelf. This is everything I watched in... October. <laughs> so we're mm -hmm. in November right now. A couple days in. But um, I got a whole two titles because I was watching a lot of good stuff. Uh, I watched the fly set and a staple that I watch every year is Hocus Pocus. And the Hellraiser collection. Yes. Hellraiser. Throw in some Benicula. Throw in some Alvin and the Chipmunks. Halloween versions for the little guy. Just a bunch of classics. Good stuff. Yeah, some but, arrows as well that we I don't know really how it happened. How it happened. Well, we got a lot of movies, but yeah. I found this. Another wild eye. In the collection. And it's not Scary Stories documentary. I happen to like that documentary by Wild Eye. Mm -hmm. Wild Eye and Like in the same scent as well. You know, I just blew myself away for a second. But anyway, the lucky ones freeze to death. This is cold ground. From Wild Eye. Um, I don't know what to what to do with this movie, but it's basically a found footage movie. Oh wait, this is 86 minutes of goodness, and it's from 2017. I literally felt cold watching this. I was sitting there with my blanket, cold, and it was like I don't know, 70, maybe 75 degrees. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for a new nightmare? Bloody disgusting. Actually, it's not very disgusting. The only like scary stuff when you actually see these um creatures they're they're wolves basically human barbarian creature um carnivorous wolf humans and savages they just eat these people and it's like found footage mm -hmm. yeah you can show them the lovely pictures on the back also it's a uh, subtitled film. Oh, yeah. Most of it is subtitles, but mm -hmm. there is a little bit of English in there. It's an easy read. It's <clears throat> stupid. Uh, it's, you know, just interesting. If you, you want to sit on the couch with a blanket and feel cold and, you know, scroll through Instagram reels or something, this is your movie. Mm -hmm. You don't have to literally turn your brain off and just look up every once in a while. You don't really need to read it, but yeah. Bone Chilling Terror. Rue Morgue, okay. 1976, two journalists visit the French Swiss border to investigate a series of cattle mutilations for a TV show. Once they arrive, the scientific team they, they meet has gone missing. Escorted by a British biologist and American forensic investigator, they will go looking for the missing team deep in the mountains. Um, no, I would just call a search party or something. Yep. That's not, that's not my job. Sorry. To find something ungodly, so nothing of Jesus, <laughs> that has stalked the Alps for centuries. Bonus features include the making of the, making of this documentary, creature tests, and trailers. Yeah. Trailers. Shocking. Yeah. But there it is. It's all yours. Yeah. The only other thing I want to mention about this, the beginning has some writing that comes up and they try to do it similar to like the Blair Witch, that it's like found footage that was found and now they're showing it, <laughs> trying to uh, play, you know, play it off like it's something that really happened when it is so far-fetched. Yeah, their cameras on them. They're they're holding the cameras and they're shooting the footage themselves. So it's like this is lost footage actually in the, you know. Yeah, from from that team. In the I was going to say environment, but in the setting that they were in these Swiss yeah. Alps. And um, the end is, is kind of dumb, but there's a little bunny at the end. It's cute, and it's like it leaves you wondering with what happened. And I th it's just all made up fiction. <clears throat> it's yeah. This footage was not lost. These creatures, they show them really fast, but it's basically, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say 
a slimmed down version of the Incredible Hulk costume with a wolf mask on making noises, but you know. But anyway, that's it. That's Wild Eye. Cold ground. What'd you give it? I gave it a big old one because they tried and the Wild Eye's got artwork. Yeah. What, what can I say? Wild Eye has artwork. Yeah, they have great artwork, but horrible movies. Yeah. But yeah, I watched the beginning and the end. The middle, nothing. I, I just thought it was bad. We started watching it. We actually, this is the second attempt at it. We actually watched it. I did. I tried probably to Probably in like September. And then it was, a, it was one of our late night movies. And we were both kind of tired. And right when we put it in and we realized it was subtitled. We're, we're like, like, oh, I don't want to read. No, we're, we're like, we're too tired to, to, to read. And we're like, let's just find something else. So it got attacked again in October. But no. If you're into the found footage, slow stuff made up yeah stuff hey all uh, i know. like how they did the claws across the uh cold ground yeah okay. but yeah i'm gonna try to make that wild eye short and sweet yep exactly see what i did there i saw that happy october but anyway this next one the scream factory he and watched dollar tree special the dollar tree special he watched this one first it is from 2016 it is 82 minutes and it is beyond the gates I found this at Dollar Tree, and it was an IFC Scream Factory, so I decided to pick it up. It's got a nice clear case. Yeah, but it is a completely bonkers kind of movie. It's interesting, but it's like, I want to say it's Jumanji gone wrong, mm -hmm. I want to say. Yeah. Pieces move. Uh, it has to deal with a, a board game. Glorious, over the top, and blood drenched. There is some blood, I'm not gonna lie. Press play and pray. Like, pray that you get out alive. Pray that you live. Uh, welcome, curious viewers. Have you the courage to go beyond the gates? I don't have a deep voice, I'm sorry. After their father's unexplained disappearance, two estranged brothers, responsible Gordon, Graham Skipper, and reckless John, Chase Williamson, reunite to sift through the contents of his stubbornly arachnochristic, I can't read that word, VHS rental store. So it's in a big VHS rental store. Yeah. And they happen to come across this board game that's in his rental store. They inherited the um, rental store after yeah. their father's disappearance. And the father has an office. Mm -hmm. So they actually found the office key and they went in the office. Spoiler. Uh, among the inventory, they find an old interactive VCR board game. Intrigued, the brothers pop in the tape and soon discover that this video has no, that this video is no ordinary game, but a porthole to a nightmarish alternative reality, one with deadly consequences for anyone who dares to press play. Hey, yeah, it has special features: audio commentaries with the director. Uh, Jackson Stewart, actress Barbara Crampton, and the cast and crew. Behind the scenes featurette, deleted scenes. I'm sorry, I didn't even bother to watch the deleted scenes. Theatrical trailer, retro Beyond the Gates commercial, and more. Mm -hmm. I didn't even watch the commercial, honestly. Yeah, when yeah. I first got this movie, because like I've always said, I never read the back synopsis. I always go off the cover art. Mm -hmm. If the cover art looks decent, I pick it up. If it kind of speaks to me. And by looking at the cover art, I thought it was going to be like a graveyard kind of... Um, kind of like that movie, uh, The Ninth Gate with um, Johnny Depp. That was kind of like supernatural, kind of evil, the devil, all that stuff. Not realizing that was gonna be about a board game. It's kind of like a low budge, and they play the game in their house, and there's yeah. some good killing scenes if if you like that. But yeah, it wasn't what I was expecting, mm. and I wasn't a fan of it. People die in order to get uh, progress through the game yeah. to win or save your father's soul. Mm -hmm. What'd you give it? I was kind of sad because it was about his father, but I gave it a. 1.5 because it kept me watching. I wanted to kind of see what happened. 
Yeah, I, I... it wasn't like low budge homemade movie mm -hmm. recorded, but yeah. Yeah, I give it a one. Better than Cold Ground. I give it a one. I probably like twenty minutes in, I completely lost interest because, like I said, I thought this was gonna be something different, and when it just reminded me of, like she said, uh, cheap horror version of mm -hmm. Jumanji. That's wasn't what that, it is. I wasn't a fan of it. The TV's not going to know the progress. And the TV mentions the father and stuff. I'm like, how did it know? Yeah. But um, anyway. Yeah, moving beyond on. Beyond the Gates. Yep, that's gone. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to say something else. But um, no, I guess not. But that was pretty much the only two titles mm -hmm. that did not make the shelf this month. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that we both watched. We watched some stuff together. We watched some stuff separately. We watched some Hallmark fall movies that we oh, had. Oh, yes. We, Growing the big one, Pumpkin. Um, October Kiss. Um, Midnight Masquerade. Yeah. But, yeah, and we watched... Uh, Law a, and something. We, we, we watched a bunch of, like, classic-style films, and mostly. And they were all good. Yeah, and a couple of Arrows, a couple of Vinegar Syndromes that we checked out and we all like so mm -hmm. but we want to give an honorable mention a dishonorable honorable mention it is a dvd with a slip and it's got really good artwork yep and it's a movie i bought back in 2017 at walmart back when before you met me yeah before i met marie and you know, at that time the only person i watched was cinema sickness and cool duder there wasn't really a lot of youtubers back then and Cool Dude did a review for this, and I went to Walmart that week, and I picked it up. And it was, you know, one of those 9.97 titles. I forgot what, how much they were at that point, but I think it was still right, right around nine to twelve dollars. But it was a movie called Treehouse. Uh, the artwork kind of like scared me yeah, and put and me this off. This is with the slipcover. So I didn't watch it. I'm like, no, I'll watch it but next year or something. I really, I haven't watched that movie since it came out. And I bought it, but I always liked it. And Marie's like, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm like, Marie, I really enjoyed it. You should check it out. I would love this without the words on a poster. Yeah, the this artwork, the artwork's really good with the girl hanging in the background. I don't want to say the cardboard slipcover makes it, but this is a really cool slipcover. It just pops. Yeah. I'm talking about cardboard here, but yeah, those are bodies hanging in this treehouse. But I would say if you've never seen that film, I would say check it out. You might like it. Baby Bear's pretty good. They call yeah. him Baby Bear. So yeah. basically, children are missing and these creatures or these things in the woods, you find out what they are or who they are at the end. We and won't spoil it. Yeah. But it's pretty good. Oh, I was going to say Beyond the Gates could do a sequel because it's like a wraparound mm -hmm. from where the board game came from. Yeah. So somebody else checks in and say, oh, are you interested in, in like a 1980s board game? But, yeah. I'm, Getting back to Treehouse, sorry. This was pretty good. It was slow. I mean, you don't really get to see the, the creatures. If you watch the movie, you know what the creatures look like. So mm -hmm. I'm not really spoiling anything. Yeah, but we're, we're going to start trying to do that month to month of the surprise movie of the month when we do our it doesn't make the show so movie that is kind Shout of out to down to movie yeah kind of something that's under the radar that not a lot of people talk about that we mm -hmm. you know that we enjoy that other people might enjoy as well that you should check out yeah but it's worth a watch it, yeah. it has a great story of these two trying to survive and what goes on. Yeah. It is a little slow in the beginning, but it's worth a watch. Yeah, it pays worth out. A, worth a watch. Yeah. I don't recommend watching it. Uh, watching it. But I real I really enjoyed it, and Marie actually enjoyed it, and it is mm -hmm. staying on the shelf. But this is one, like I said, that's underneath the radar. I think it got a Dollar Tree title maybe recently without a slipcover, because I remember x featurette having it. But if you do find it or you find it out in the wild, I, I, would say, I would say pick it up. I give this one a three as well. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it just kind of kept going even though that you didn't see the creatures right away. But yeah. anyway, this that is, is uh, 2014, uh, 101 minutes. Yep. 
it was really enjoyable. And it does have special features. Director's commentary directed by Michael, I can't read. It's so tiny, this print. Michael Bartland, special FX behind the scenes documentary. Okay, mm -hmm. not yet rated. But yep. get this artwork. I don't know. I probably wouldn't rate this G judging by that artwork. Mm -hmm. But anyway. But that is pretty much the end of this video. So these two titles are up for grabs. Are up for grabs. If either one of these titles you're interested in and you like to pick it up, like I said. Everybody likes different stuff. Yep. You know, what we like, you know, you might not like and vice versa. But, like we always say, somebody's trash is always somebody else's treasure. And if you're going for a full wild eye collection and you don't have that one, yeah. You need to pick Happy it up. Happy to help you out. But, yeah, if you're interested, in the description down below will be both of our Instagrams as well as my email. If you don't have Instagram, you know, reach out to me and we can wheel and deal. And one of these or both of these can be yours mm -hmm. if you're interested in them. Yeah, if, but, if you want one, we'll just send the other one super cheap. Yep. But, you know, in the comments down below, let us know if you've seen either one of these. Or if you've seen Treehouse, you know, let us know what you thought of it. You know, do you agree with our recommendation of that film or these two films? Mm -hmm. If you didn't, if you actually liked them, you know, let us know if you did. And, you know, maybe uh, let us know why you liked it. You know, maybe, you know. You like that low budge yeah stuff. i was freezing watching cold ground or you know we could see the movies in a different light and maybe you know something might mm -hmm. you know make us jar to actually like it I no slips i don't want it yeah <laughs> i'm but, not even um, looking at it if you like this video hit the, the like button, button. if you didn't like it videos before and after if you want to subscribe to us hit the subscription button hit the notification bell we'll have more videos for you if you want to leave a comment down below about any of these titles that we talked about start typing away. But until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, me too. Yeah. Only a couple. A deuce. Because I watched a lot of good movies. A big fat deuce. <laughs> Ew, gross.